Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is an inspired look from the cover of Cosmo for Latinas, and it looks like this. Yay! On the front is Adrienne Bailon, and there's tons of beautiful pictures of her inside as well. Obviously, she is the cover girl, but I thought um, I would recreate the look for you guys because I love her, and I know tons of you guys love her as well. Um, if you don't know who she is, um, she has been around forever. Um, just super popular and super talented. She was in the Cheetah Girls to start off with, and now she is one of the co-hill but she is one of the co-hosts on The Real, which I actually got to be in the audience and see. So it's really fun. And I'm so happy that they're, you know, going on to, I think, number season number three now. So, yeah, super, super proud of her. She's a Latina, too. So I'm like, hey, girl, I'm super proud of her. I'm just super proud of Latinas, period, or just women in general, because, hello, woman. So hopefully you guys are interested in this look, and if you are, just keep watching. So the first product I'm using today is going to be one from L'Oreal Paris, and this is the Revitalift Moisture Blur, and it says it's instant smooth or instant skin smoother, and it's a moisturizer. So I like it because um, it's a moisturizer with primer, and you're just knocking out two birds with one stone. I'm gonna go ahead and just Gorilla Style add this to my face. So it's really important you put it all over your face. You don't want to leave any spots out, like don't leave out your forehead, um, your chin, or your neck. And it's just because that's where the foundation's gonna go. So if you have any dry spots, it's going to show up. And it just helps give you a smooth base. So yeah, if you have a crusty face, you're gonna have crusty makeup, and that's not cute. So for foundation, I'm gonna try something new. And if I fail, then I'll just gonna take it out. Um, Cause yeah, I'm just guessing on what color my skin is going to be or my shade is going to be for my skin and this one is from Too Faced, it's called Born This Way and it's a new foundation that just came out and yeah, I got it at Ulta if you're wondering and this is in warm beige, so I'm going to do a couple of pumps on the back of my hand using a moist beauty blender to apply this to my face. So far, so good with this foundation. I'm actually really liking it. I'm looking at myself like, all right, you're looking young. I feel like I added some life to my face because I had a rough night and I wanted to murder a dog. I mean, not in a bad way. I mean, is there a good way? Because it would not stop barking. I'm like, oh! You can even tell that I felt, you know, homicidal. So next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows just because we kind of need a border or a perimeter of where we're gonna put our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is what the packaging looks like. So if you go to Sephora, just look for this little symbol and that's Anastasia. So her dip brow and where did that brush go? This was like, I don't even remember how much it was, like under 10 bucks from Ardell. And it's just a dual ended brush. I talk about this all the time. So if you're a, like old to my channel and a faithful subscriber, you're like, okay, yeah, we get it. You say it all the time, but I have to. What if you're new? So there we go. I start by just making a line. It goes all the way from the beginning to where the tail's at. And then I flip it around and take the spoolie end of it and go up. Are you concerned as much as I am with the hives that I'm breaking out in? What the heck is going on downtown? Okay, moving on. So when I'm using the spoolie end of it, the spoolie end is pretty much like a mascara wand but dry and you just you know control the hair where it's going but then you're also blending this makeup or the product into the rest of your hair so you don't have to use a bunch you don't want to put this all over your eyebrow because if you do they're gonna be really harsh and obviously super fake you just want to you know thicken up your natural eyebrows and if you don't have them you need a tutorial on how to like get some eyebrows but this is just if you have them to darken it up a little bit the next product I'm going to use is from Too Faced Cosmetics. This is the Shadow Insurance. I love this stuff. I actually just got a new one from Urban Decay, and I have to show you guys that one in like another tutorial. I just, I know I keep using the same products over and over again, but at least you know that you can see tons of looks using the same products. So I'm just going to cover. Oh my God, ill! I just threw that all. Oh God, this is why I have to look in the mirror and not look at you guys because. Or look at myself in the viewfinder because 
I'll just put it anywhere. So here we go. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use a Lorac Matte Pro Palette, and it looks like this. It's got tons of matte shades that you can take your look from day to night. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and a color called Corduroy and cover my lids. I'm gonna load up my brush, and as you can see, it's like super, super pigmented. And then just focus that on my lids. Now thanks to that eyeshadow primer, it does intensify the color a lot as well. Then taking a tapered blending brush, and it's more like of a longer dome shape. So this is just a blending brush, it's a lot shorter. And this one's longer and it's tapered at the top. I'm gonna take this one and a lighter color called Latte and go into the crease. Then I'm gonna take a shade from ColourPop. This is called Lala. And I'm sitting my finger because I feel like if I use a brush, especially with this kind of product, it moves around a lot and I don't want it to crack or damage the products. It's, it just, it's really, really unique, this powder, but it's so intense, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is take my finger and rub it on here. And as you can see, it's super duper intense. And then I'm going to press it onto my lid. So this dark brown is pretty much just the background because I wanted to make sure that my eye was brown, but I want to soften it up with this Lala eyeshadow. So just pressing it onto my eye. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and a matte black eyeshadow and I'm going to start to create more of a cat shape in the corner here. So you can see it better in this lighting. So right in the corner, just taking your pencil brush and start to place that right in the corner. As you can see, I just made a little wing. We're gonna eventually blend that out, but wanna place it where we want it and then use that same buffer brush and blend it out. Now I'm going to be prepping my eyes with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna come back and add another coat, so we're gonna let that dry while we do something else. So what I'm using today is NARS Custard. This is the packaging. It's actually really hard to find in stores because it's really popular. And it's kind of like the liquid form of the banana powder. It does have like a yellow tint to it, so beware if that's not your thing, don't order it. Um, yeah, because it's just always sold out. I pop the. It's always sold out and I purchased mine online. Next, I'm gonna go in with a gold shadow right underneath, and I'm using this huge palette. Oh my god, my chair is so annoying. I'm using this huge palette from BH Cosmetics, and this is the 120 color palette. And I'm going to take a flat brush, a flat shader brush, because I wanna get right underneath there. I'm going with a gold eyeshadow. Tapping that right underneath. Then I'm going to be adding a really, really thin coat of this mascara, which is Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I have to be careful with it because she really has um, some bottom falsies that are separate, which I'm gonna add in just a second, but I didn't want it to just stick out like a sore thumb, so you do want your bottom lashes to be black before you add these false lashes, just so they blend in a little bit better. 
but usually I go in on those bottom lashes with this mascara, but today, not today. I did want to add a little bit of black liner to the outer corner. I'm using one from Trish McVoy, McAvoy, and I'm going to use that right in the corner here. And go right into that little wing that we created. So right in the corner, you don't want to go too far with it. And just make sure that it goes right into that eyeshadow. Then you can take your pencil brush again and, you know, start to blend it out a little bit so it's not so harsh. I'm going to take another pencil brush, this is a little bit fluffier, and I'm just going to blend that over. So next up are eyelashes, and as you can see, I already did one side of my face, and I tried the individual lashes down here, and it looks so weird and so heavy, and it didn't look as glam as she did. I'm going to pop these on. These are the House of Lashes in Iconic. So this side needs a little bit more mascara. So like I said, I'm just going to concentrate it more on this end to keep all the darkness over here. I'm going to use Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer and this is in 30 Cafe and I'm going to use this to contour my face. So it's a darker concealer, obvi, for my skin tone. So I'm going to go straight line to my mouth, another straight line to my mouth. This is going to help to thin out my face. Not that my face is fat and round, just hey, it's part of makeup. Quiet go around my forehead, down the sides of my nose. I'm literally just gonna touch my nose with the stick part of this, like that, on my chin, and then blend this sucker out before it dries and I have like dark lines all over my face. So before I do that, I'm going to mist my Beauty Blender once more because it tends to dry before I get to this part. Now I'm going to set all that with some powder. I'm going to start with some translucent powder and it's from MAC and it's from their Prep and Prime collection. I know my face looks kind of cray right now, but it's going to look better after some of this powder, I promise. It just helps to neutralize it and blend it even further. It sets it and it doesn't move, so you're going to look like that the rest of the day. So if you messed it up, you're going to stay stuck like that for the rest of the day. Now what a lot of people like to do is dip their beauty blender in, but since I went in with this contour, I'm not going to use the same one because I'd have to wash it. So I'm going to use a different one. Make sure that guy is kind of moist, not too wet like you're going to apply foundation, just wet enough for you to apply it with your sponge. You're going to dip that guy right in like that and you're going to put it right underneath your eyes in the T-zone. And then the rest of your face, you're going to set that with like a bronzer. Then for contouring, I'm going to be using this Heidi D Cosmetics. It's really old. I got it from iMats like five million years ago. I know I'm that old too. I'm taking a contour brush and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this. This is kind of intense, but I'm too lazy to turn around and get something else. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the tip part of this. As you can see, it's angled. I'm going to use this tip part to kind of almost make like a harsh line and then flip it around and blend it out so it's not so crazy. Taking a big puffy brush and taking a little bit more of that um, translucent color, that powder, it's no color, it just looks white, but you're going to go ahead and finish the rest of your face. So 
So Adrienne looks like she has a little bit of shimmer, not too much, not too crazy. So today I'm gonna use my Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop. So I'm gonna take this fan brush, and this one's from Tarte, it's really cool. And I'm just gonna lightly dust that here on the apples, add a little bit to my nose and my chin. So you can just see it, just very faint, it's so pretty. I don't wanna be a disco ball, so I'm trying to like go really light with it. But you can see it's like a really light, faint shimmer. I'm going to be using a matte lips, because that's what she has. I'm using a Beat Lip Liner from MAC, and then also on top of that, I'm using another MAC product, and it's from their newest collection, and it's like the matte lipsticks that everybody went berserko for, and I'm not sure if they're all sold out, but I got all of them after staying up all night trying to order them. So yeah, I got this, and it is in the shade Matte Coralette. And this is the finished product, or the finished look. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I appreciate you so much. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll be having tons more like reviews, um, favorites, also tutorials like this one, um, and some giveaways, some big, huge giveaways, so don't forget to stick around for that. So I thank you once again. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for a list of all the products that you've seen in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.